why is it so difficult for an Indian girl who is getting educated to make a choice for herself? Why is it so difficult for her to speak and voice what she really wants and what she wants to do and how she should live her life? I joke with my husband that I got my marriage certificate first and I got my graduation certificate later. He said, Tere jaise chiller to bahut bhare pade hai market mein, tera interview koi kyun lega? My opinions didn't matter. That I didn't matter. It was during this time. Hi, I'm Kashish Shabria. I was born and brought up in Mumbai. I was 19 years old when I got married. It was an arranged marriage. As children, when growing up in the Indian society, we are taught to respect elders, to listen to them, to obey them, not to back answer them. And why not? It should be that way. But the question here arises, up to what extent? I joke with my husband that I got my marriage certificate first and I got my graduation certificate later. It was during this time that I started to feel that I did not have a voice of my own, that my opinions didn't matter, that I didn't matter. And I was in this never ending rabbit hole of suffering because I did not know what to do, whom to go to, and what should I even confide about. So I kept suffering silently in that rabbit hole for many, many months. My self-esteem suffered, my courage suffered, and I suffered. But here's what happened then. I wanted to do something different. As a child, I always wanted to own a preschool. I wanted to begin with my own preschool. But I did not know how to because the immediate next pressure was, why don't you have a child of your own? So the vulnerable me gave in and I became a mother at the age of 21 years. Surrounded by chaos, 24 seven work of home, baby, no sleep, feeling terrible and my dreams down the drain. But they say that when the heart is strong, everything is easy to do. That's the same way. I pursued my education. I completed my ECC at a Montessori course after my baby. But it was not easy. It was not easy to balance home, my child and my dreams. So I kept working late night hours with barely three hours and four hours of sleep while working on my dreams. But then I realized this is not exactly what I wanted to do. I want to do something better. I want to help people. And I was counseling people more, counseling parents more than actually doing my job. I realized I had a bigger calling. I got myself educated further with a lot of difficulty. Because in our Indian society, there are God-sent people who have their names as relatives. When their pressure grows, then your mind will stop working. And exactly so, family members and relatives started pressurizing me. This? You want to do this? Really? And I told them, yes, I wanted to do this. But somehow, again, I had to yet fight back. Somehow again, I was in that tight, vulnerable spot, did not know what to do. Why is it so difficult for an Indian girl who is getting educated to make a choice for herself? Why is it so difficult for her to speak and voice what she really wants and what she wants to do and how she should live her life? Aren't we humans too? Don't we have the same desires too? So with that, I completed my master's in psychology. I became a mental health counselor. And with that, I started to help people. But the turning point was when my confidence and courage came crashing down because I lost a baby on the way. I was pregnant and due to some circumstances, I could not give birth to my child. 
and I felt guilty. I know the pain of losing a child and my heart goes out to those who have lost one. It was very difficult to gather myself because when you are at your lowest low, sab aapka advantage lene ki koshish karte hai. Somehow, I gathered myself and I started moving ahead on my journey. It was during this time that I contacted one of my uncles who was working for Times of India and I asked him, Uncle, I need to get my inputs for mental health inside Times of India because I want people to be aware about how one can overcome the silent suffering. He told me a line that I will never forget on call and he said, Tere jaise chiller to bahut bhar pade hai market mein, tera interview koi kyun lega? Pennies like you, I found so many in the market. Why will someone want to interview you? I was shocked to say the least. And remember, Indian society, elders respect. I did not back answer him because I did not have the courage to answer back to him. But, ek cheez hoi thi itne samay mein. Mere andar ka rebel jag utha tha. So in a very polite way, I gathered myself again and in a very polite way I told him, you know what uncle, just wait for three months. Your journalist will come to me, will take my interview and will publish my article, my inputs for this article inside Mumbai Mirror all for free. My uncle snubbed. <laughs> he laughed and he kept the phone. Kai bari aisa hota hai that wo koi bhi cheez bolne ke baad hum baad mein realize karte ki humne bola kya. Exactly wahi hua. I held my head ki mene kya keh diya. Kyunki mere baas to koi contacts nahi. I didn't have any contacts. I didn't have anyone to go to. Whom should I even go to? But here's what I did. For the first time ever, I started to believe in myself. I did not have anyone to fall back upon, anything to fall back upon. No experience, no contacts, no networking, nothing. It was during this time that I started to make videos on mental health, on self-help and on personal development. I would receive a lot of mockery, a lot of ridicule by my own family members and cousins for making videos. The moment I would pick up a phone to create a video, they would comment, Ab ye mobile se video banayegi, hume pakayegi. She will bore us with her videos. But I gave a deaf ear. Exactly within three months, the Mumbai Mirror journalist came to me. She took my interview. She published my picture with my quote inside Mumbai Mirror. All for free. And the first person that I called up after that article was published was my uncle. And he told me a line that I will never forget. He told me, I was sure you will do it. I said, yeah, I'm sure. I learned a lesson that day. That the world will support you when you don't need their support. And you have to be your own spine until then and even beyond. And that's when I said, if this is what it is, if this is how life goes, I am ready to be my own support because I knew that someone is looking at me. Someone was learning from me. My child would look at me, imitate me and learn exactly the way I live and conduct my life. During this time, in the year 2019, I got the most surprising call of my life. I was approached by a set of people who were observing my work and they told me this. Ma'am, we have been observing your work over eight months and we are happy to tell you that you have been invited to Delhi to receive an honorary award for the contribution that you have made to the society through your videos. So, in November 2019, I was awarded with the Rex Karmavir Chakra Award and the Global Fellowship Award in association with the United Nations for my contribution to the society in the form of videos on mental health, self-help and personal development. And it was during this time that my YouTube channel started getting momentum. Just fast forward to a few months later, my YouTube channel got monetized. It was that time that all the lips were zipped. All the mouths that were making fun of me, who were ridiculing me, who were laughing at me, had no option but to keep quiet. 
कहते हैं ना अगर आप कोई भी चीज को इतनी शिद्दत से चाहो तो पूरी कायनात जुड़ जाती है उसे आपको मिलाने में इट इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम फीलिंग दैट आई हैड व्हेन आई वाज वॉकिंग ऑन दिस जर्नी आई वाज वॉकिंग ऑन दिस पाथ आई न्यू आई वाज ऑन द राइट पाथ बिकॉज आई वाज इंपैक्टिंग लाइव्स आई वाज अ कैटलिस्ट ऑफ हेल्पिंग पीपल आई गेट गूज बम्प्स इवन व्हेन आई टेल यू दिस टुडे व्हेन आई शेयर विद यू टुडे दैट वी लिव नॉट फॉर आवरसेल्व्स वी लिव टू हेल्प ईच अदर एंड जो इंसान ये सीक्रेट जल्दी जान ले उसकी जिंदगी सवर जा सकती है उसके बच्चों की जिंदगी सवर सकती है सो योर आई एम लिविंग माई पर्पज लिविंग माई मिशन एवरी सिंगल डे सो विद दिस आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू हु एवर टेल्स यू हु एवर बुलीज यू इन टू बिलीविंग और टेलिंग यू दैट यू आर नॉट गुड इनफ यू कैन नॉट डू इट टेक देयर ओपिनियंस येस एंड थ्रो इट आउट ऑफ द विंडो throw it out of the window because you have the power to choose the way i made a choice for myself not to listen so if you are someone who is stuck somewhere it is your message it is a message for you do not let anyone tell you what you have to do or what you don't have to do it's your life own your voice use the power of your voice because if you don't then who will thank you Josh Talks is now a Spotify exclusive podcast. The audio version of our talks will be available only on Spotify. If you like this video and you like to listen to more inspiring stories like this, please follow the Josh Talks podcast only on Spotify. Agar aap bhi is video ke end tak pahunch gaye hain, to meri tarah hi aap bhi inspired zarur hue honge. Aapko bhi motivation mili hogi apne sapno ko pura karne ki. दोस्तों सपने तो हम सभी देखते हैं लेकिन हम में से कुछ ही लोग अपने सपनों को पूरा करने में सक्सेसफुल हो पाते हैं मैं आपको बताना चाहती हूँ कि जो भी इंसान अपने गोल्स को अचीव करने में सक्सेसफुल होता है उन सभी में कुछ कॉमन स्किल्स होती हैं जैसे कि अच्छी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स जो कि स्पोकन इंग्लिश से आती हैं और दोस्तों हम सभी इस स्किल को मास्टर करके अपनी लाइफ में आगे बढ़ सकते हैं जोश स्किल्स ऐप के साथ इस ऐप में हम वन बाय वन वो कैबलरी के नए वर्ड्स ग्रामर प्रैक्टिस रीडिंग और राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस के साथ साथ अपने जैसे अन्य हजारों स्टूडेंट्स के साथ ऑनलाइन इंग्लिश में लाइव बात करके अपनी इंग्लिश को वर्ल्ड क्लास बना सकते हैं आज ही अपनी सक्सेस की तरफ पहला कदम लें भारत के नंबर वन स्पोकन इंग्लिश ऐप जोश स्किल्स के साथ